Welcome to the channel, my name is Grizzy, and today we're dropping the hype bomb. Caustic and Apex Season 8 is getting the buff. Caustic was such a weak legend according to the devs. Nah guys, you know what, I'm just playing. That's right guys, I'm here to start this video off with a bang because today I'm going over to talk the changes coming to Apex Season 8 of Apex Legends. I'm gonna let you know the changes that we know so far. There's some pretty exciting additions, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited for Apex Season 8. So first off, who is the next legend of Apex Season 8 and what are his abilities? Walter Fitzroy aka Fuse is the new legend and we are going to be getting him in season 8. The gameplay trailer gave us a look ahead of what his abilities will be for this season. It looks like the legend uses his metal arm to throw a small grenade that has a series of small explosions, like a mini cluster bomb. The ability will likely deal damage to enemies, but it's also unclear if it will apply an effect, maybe like a slow effect. Fuse's passive also relates to grenades based on the season's 8 gameplay trailer. The upcoming legend uses his mechanical arm to toss an arc star which whooshes towards the target his passive will improve the grenade throwing abilities possibly with increased range or projectile speed fuses ultimate is a mortar that unleashes fire bombs in an area the gameplay trailer showed how it works in detail fuse fires a mortar to the sky that splits into a series of incendiary bombs Activating the ultimate shows both where the projectile will split and the impact radius of the firebombs. These things are probably going to deal a hefty amount of damage to enemy squads. And you know what? It's going to be a lot of fun. You know, me personally, I wasn't too excited for Fuse at first, but after seeing his abilities, he seems like a really fun and destructive legend. If Fuse ends up being a viable legend, he's gonna pair well so, so well with Horizon. Horizon's already very, very good when used in tandem with grenades. Imagine using Horizon's ultimate ability and then Fuse's passive ability to quickly throw arc stars on the team, sucked into that ultimate ability. That sounds OP and it sounds like a lot of fun. I can't wait to try out this new legend. Guys, Fuse Guide coming soon to the channel. Next up, we have a new weapon coming into play for Apex Season 8, and that is the 3030 Repeater. From the gameplay, it looks like this weapon is going to be a lot of fun. It has a base 6 magazine size, and looks like you can hit fire spam this weapon, but also aim down the sights for a more impactful shot. From what we can tell, this weapon does look pretty fun to use, kind of like a DMR, and it seems like they're really forcing this mid to long range meta. I can kind of see this gun being a mixture between a G7 Scout and a Sentinel, like the two had a baby. Next up on the list, let's talk map changes. To be honest, on paper, I wasn't too, too excited to be getting another version of King's Canyon, mainly just because I didn't really enjoy or care for the Season 5 version of the map. But what I can tell, it looks like this map is going to be a nice change of pace. I was super happy to hear that they added to the overall size of the map because it seemed like we had almost outgrown that last map as players. With Apex having loud weapons and KC was just so small, it almost seemed like it had a bad reputation for third parties. Opening up the map to new areas with the crash site seemed really cool, like a really good idea. I also like the look that they gave artillery, they made a crack in that wall to lead us to the new area, and overall I'm really really digging the colors that they selected for this map. In addition to the new area which is called crash site, they totally reworked slum legs and gave it a nice vibrant feel. They also had these new tent structures where the devs say they create some intense close quarter combat opportunities and they also have fast vertical zip lines that take you to the tops of the tents for quick repositioning. In addition to new areas, several mobile armories that were being stored in the cargo bay on that ship were lost and scattered across Kings Canyon. They require a grenade to blow open. Now these armories will grant access to weapons, ammo, and valuable attachments. Now one of my biggest gripes about the new map might be these new observation towers. I really wasn't a fan of people camping on top of the towers on World's Edge. Now in Kings Canyon they're going to have four towers that can be found in echo camps. They can only be raised by interacting with its wall panel and they do come at a risk for revealing your position but me I'm just not a fan of sniper perches in these games to be honest. A couple other cool leaks that I'm I'm excited about with season 8 is the anniversary collection, team deathmatch LTM, and the damage counter. 
Data miners have found that the anniversary collection will give us recolors of some of our favorite legend skins like this cool Bangalore recolor. There was also speculation that if you collected all the skins for the event, you would be able to get heirloom shards and then use those shards to pick any past heirloom that you want. In addition to the anniversary collection, there was leaked data that showed a team deathmatch type game in certain areas of the map, which sounds like a great and innovative LTM. Also with the addition of season eight, it's likely we get the damage counter so you can see how close you are to the damage badge that you really, really want to get. My only concern with this change is people changing their playstyle and playing especially campy every single game in order to try and farm the damage but overall I think this is going to be a good addition to the game. We were also leaked about the golden magazine that will make its entrance into season 8 and the devs have talked about how it will reload your weapon while your weapon is holstered. The devs had made remarks that it takes some time to reload but I feel like this could be a really great addition to the game even if the reload takes maybe a good 5 to 8 seconds to pull off you're still cutting out that reload animation time and it could lead to some interesting play styles and some cool combos that we can try out. Lastly, we got a glimpse of some battle pass skins and it looks like we'll be receiving a Gibraltar, Octane, and Loba, kind of lower rarity skins, and then some really awesome looking Bangalore and Lifeline skins. Me personally, I'm super excited that Bangalore gets a really good looking skin, especially since her hairstyle looks so awesome in this one. So guys, now I leave the floor open for you. What are you most excited for with Apex Legends Season 8? Personally, I think the Golden Magazine, I'm really interested to try that out, and Kings Canyon sounds like some great additions to the game, and I'm really interested in trying out that Team Deathmatch LTM. Hopefully, since that was leaked, that's going to be coming to the game. That would be so much fun. Let me know in the comments below what are you most excited for for season 8 just around the corner. Also guys, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I hope you all enjoyed the content and I'll see you all in the next one. I'm Grizzy and I'm out.